before we get into the unboxing, I want to point something out because I'm a little bit concerned about this one. Only a little bit. I mean, it might be fine, but here goes. Hear that? I thought, ooh. Hasn't been opened, it's still sealed. But it sounds very rattly. <laughs> so this is from a company called CID, a C idea. C idea? Sounds pretty good. Made in China. And it's a 10-inch, hopefully, smart tablet PC with Wi-Fi. And it does sound rather Rather rattly, I just hope it's not broken. Specification, chipset, octo-core, LCD display, 10 inch with WVGA capacity and IPS touchscreen LCD. Camera is a, they've got two cameras obviously, it's a tablet. So you've got a five megapixel camera and an eight megapixel, eight megapixel camera, yeah? So one on the front, one on, well, one facing you and one going away from you. The one facing you is probably the smaller one, the five megapixels. Battery, big, uh, yeah, I thought this was funny. Battery, big battery, long standby. <laughs> Doesn't tell you capacity of the battery. Data with Wi-Fi. Dimensions are 10.8 millimeters slim body. Made in China and it shows you some of the apps that are probably already on now, so I'm not going to go through them. And the model number is a CM9000. Now, I did have a look on Amazon, link in the video description, and I believe I have for the UK market the CM9000, link for that, like I said. But for America and Canada, I found a CM9100. Now, it looks to me like the same spec. It's just slightly different model. So the link's in there as well in case you need it. So uh, with that, I've got my knife ready. I'm not sure whether I should wait until until they reply to my email. Because I sent them an email saying, it's a bit rattly. Is that all right? <laughs> so on the bottom, it says RAM. I don't know which one I've got. And the color is gray. We know we've got the grey one, okay? As far as I understand, they only do the one colour, as far as I understand. And they're quite cheap to buy as well. So with that, let's do the unboxing, shall we? Just quickly check over it one more time. There's no damage whatsoever to the box. So, hopefully she's not damaged. Hopefully. Oh, I thought I was going to need me knife then, but I don't. Right, how do I get that? Ah. Well, it's not sealed, so it should just slide out. Oh, doesn't look damaged. <laughs> Thank God. It's upside down, by the way. Yeah, it really sounds though it's broken. Uh, it's not. Well, it looks fine to me. I haven't had a new tablet for some time now. The one I've got is about, probably about 10 years old. No, well, maybe six, seven years old. But it might be 10 years old. So there's your rattle. Right, okay. We're, we're good, we're good. You know, like I said, I was a little bit concerned. Oh, that's really, that is really nice. So that is a converter from USB Type-C to USB 3.1, uh, sorry, 3.0, maybe 3.1, or even 3.2, I don't know. Um, no idea. I'll probably say to do with a plug or something, maybe. I don't know. Let's get around and find out, shall we? Get that. Oh, here's a plug. That's a good guess, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Spot on, Yorkie. Certificate of conformity. Oh, very good. Oh, and it's stamped and everything. Very nice. So that slides up I think it should do yep it's a little bit stiff but there you go that's very nice wasn't expecting it to come with a plug actually I was just expecting it to come with 
a cable for charging. But it comes with everything. Come that, if you're not sure what that is, that is for getting out your memory card or maybe your SIM card. We will find out. I'll leave that up there for now. That up there, that up there. Cable length of the USB to standard USB for charging up, of course. I would say probably maybe a metre. I will measure it up, don't worry about that. It's about to be someone out there that says, well, how long is it, Yorkie? Warranty, I'm not going to read that. And the instructions, I am going to read the instructions. And the reason I'm going to read them, because you might need to charge it first before you use it. So it's always advisable to read the instructions. I will read them, like I said. I'll do that in a minute. Let's have a quick look around the actual unit itself. So there's a camera up there. I'm guessing that's a five megabits or megapixels camera, that one. And that one, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh yeah, that one might be a light and a camera. AI camera, okay. Uh, and that would be the more, the more powerful one. Oh, that's unusual. I've not seen that before on a corner. Is that for your headphones? We'll find out. You've got volume up and down, power on and off. USB Type-C connection there. Maybe a speaker there. Microphone, maybe. Uh, another speaker, so it might be stereo. It's very good. What's that say? Please peel off this mask after application completed. Ah, okay, we'll leave that on for now then. Job done. So what I'm going to do now, is, like I said just a minute ago, I am going to read the instructions. See if she needs to be charged up first. I would have thought she would do. And then we'll fire her up and see what happens and see how good she is. Right, first things first, she doesn't need charging. She's fully charged. I plugged it in to charge it up and it said, oh, I'm 100%. So I don't need to charge her up so she's ready to go. But before we do that, I would recommend you do read the instructions because it does say in the instructions they recommend you should use their plug yeah, for safety. Okay, Do not use any other plug for charging. They're saying use the one that they sent you. So you've been warned. Cable length, I did measure up and I it's about 930. It's 930 mil. So it's not quite a metre. I did say it was about a metre, didn't I? So it's not quite. Instructions are okay. They do explain some basics on how to install APKs and give you a bit of information. Don't really tell you much about this, but obviously, hope or hopefully it's obvious that it's a converter from USB Type-C to USB, and it's got to be, I would have guessed, at least 3.0. I'm guessing because of colour. So it's at least that. And that's it. It should just start up, so I'm going to press the power button once, see what happens. And, hello, nothing. So you've got to hold it in, right? Now when it was charging up, I did notice something else that I thought, oh, that's good. Come up with a, I think it was a city or something like that, and said made in China. I think that's what it said. I'll show you sometime. I'm going to hold the button in. Oh, there, that's what I see. That city there, look, made in China. See ideas, powered by Android, Go Edition. I've no idea what Go Edition is, but there you go. Now, is that loading or what? Again, I have no idea. Am I going to peel this off or what? I am. Hmm? That's quite nice, actually. You could use that as a screen protector. Give it a few seconds and... Oh, there you go. Job done. Uh, I think you're a little bit out on the clock, but... You will need to connect it to your network. So I would recommend you do that first. I'm going to have a quick look around. So you've got Google, you've got your Google apps, you've got your email, stuff like that, drives, photos, the usual stuff. You've got YouTube, you've got a camera, Duo, Assistant, Play Store, and we have Chrome. Anything else on here? Nothing that way. Uh, nothing that way for signing in only. What's that do? Made a funny noise. I don't know, what's that do? Oh, it's like a magnifying glass. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm guessing. Okay, go away. Yeah, good. Uh, nothing recent, because I haven't done nothing. What's that do? Nothing. And we want to go into settings, because there's bound to be people in there who say, how to set her up? Now, these are uh, the three little buttons, only these. Right, let's go back. 
So up here on the top left hand corner, we have the clock, which is wrong. We have your settings. I'm not sure what them two are. One might be brightness. And on the right, we have the batteries, 100%. Internet, Bluetooth, do not disturb, flashlight. Internet we want to set up first. I'm just having a quick look. 20 unused apps, permissions and temporary files have been removed. Okay, fair enough. Let's go internet. Now we'll blur some of this out at some point because you know, it's my personal data. I don't use seeing my passwords and stuff like that, do I? So you need to turn your Wi-Fi on, which is done. We don't need airplane mode and it's looking for networks. Like I said, we'll blur some of this out, like this bit now. I'm going to log in or set my password up. Give me a second. Right, it's been a few days because I wanted to make sure I'll give you the best experience. And also, I want you to try it out on some games as well. So with that, I'm going to get on with it. And the other thing is, I wanted to make sure I was putting it up the right way because I keep putting it upside down. Because it's a little bit weird because you've got the buttons there, the controls, you know, volume up and down, power on and off, and USB. And you've got a speaker there, and a speaker there. It does do stereo, and we'll get to that in a bit. So let's quickly turn on. I've got some emails, so get rid of my emails. Blah, blah, blah. And let's go into the specs first, in case anyone's interested in the specs. So, like I said earlier, it's a CM9000, and the manufacturer is Incar. Yeah? And the brand is C Idea, as we uh, mentioned earlier. But you might want to know, like, for instance, how much storage it's got. And it has 52 or just under 52 gigabytes of storage. Internal storage free space is 44.60 gigabytes. So you should get quite a few games on there. Perfect if you're into gaming, that is. Or, you know, even filming, stuff like that. You should be able to get quite a lot on there. And it has 3 gig of RAM. In case anyone wants to know, I'm sure there's people out there going to say, oh, how much storage is there, how much RAM is there? CPU is an 8 core, which I checked earlier. CPU core is 8. If you want to uh, look into it or read more of it, just pause the video right now and you'll be able to see it. Display. Now we have 800 by 1280, 68mm by 128mm, and it's a 5.46 inches. 26 27, 276 DPI, and what else do you need to know on that page? 50, oh, 55 hertz. And the battery is a 6,000 milliamp battery. And by the way, I did actually play some games on there for about four or five hours, you know, quite some time, because I wanted to see how good the battery was, and it was still going strong. It was good for at least an hour or two more. I thought, <laughs> I might be wrong. Android is 12, Android version is 12, uh, devices, video resolution, well, resolution, so we have 8 megapixels on one camera, which will be the back one, and 0 0.9 megapixels on the other one, like we said earlier. Focus length, or focal length, is 3.04 millimeters. Thermal, tells you the temperature, it is running currently at the moment 26.8 Celsius, Obviously, that will go up when you um, play games and stuff like that. Apps I'm not going to go into, directly system files, and about, well, I think we covered everything, really. Oh, yes, one more thing. It's a 64-bit, it's not a 32-bit, which is good. I like 64 bits. So that is that. Now, let me just show you some games. Uh, we're going to do this one first. Give me a second. All right, games. It seems to run games with no issues whatsoever. Oh, we've got some power-ups. Let's see if I can keep her still. So games work fine with no issues whatsoever. Now the camera, to get the camera up, just scroll up, and camera. And make sure you have it up the right way as well, so the camera's down there, so it should go like that. 
or you could have it like that. See that? So like that. So that is facing me. Mm -hmm. Camera. Now, if you want to change the view, if you want to use the other camera, and I've got it set on HDR as well, by the way, go there, click on that icon now, and it will reverse it. As you can see. Hopefully you can see that anyway. So that is on photos. If you want to go to video, scroll across, video. Now we're on video. And again, if you want to change it to the facing one, you press that. If you need flash on, you just press that. And hello again. It's a bit, quick bit of recording. Yeah, looks okay. The sun is shining. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. Camera looking down. That one up there. Uh, stop that and that will save it somewhere and you can do playback yeah, okay. oh yeah I've turned the volume right down as well yeah, it looks nice and clear I'm not going to say it's fantastic picture okay. quality but it's nice and clear that's what you want isn't it don't forget the other side is even better on quality. I'm going to delete that little baby. Move to the trash. Uh, let's go back over here. And we want, where is it, three dots. Go to the other one. And I'm going to do a recording on that. My Logitech. Oh, by the way, my speakers are packing up. So I need the new set. They're getting old. Yeah, I'm going to stop that. Do playback. Yeah, works fine. Now let me quickly go through the actual what you get with it basically let's get rid of everything there so this is your main page which you get and then what I've downloaded is all these ones here so I've done a few games I've done a piece of software for checking out the specs of the actual Android unit itself and if you want to see what else is on it if you just scroll up there you go that is everything that is already on here so you've got a sound recorder got playbooks play store as you know you got your settings and you've got Google TV and files so if you go in your files it would should show where all your videos and that are in there which it does your music anything like that should all be in there easy easy peasy lemon squeezy now setting it up I found it to be extremely easy it was very easy actually all you need to do is make sure you connect it to your Wi-Fi it does have Bluetooth as well so if you're thinking about Bluetooth and thinking about maybe connecting a game controller or something like that it's got Bluetooth I think it's version 4 or plus 4 I did read it on on the app on this there you go Bluetooth version of 4 plus I knew it was there somewhere that find it in this video I am going to show you how easy it is to put a power supply into this unit Now I did find one little issue and that is with stereo. You've got a left and a right stereo and when you play like a stereo sound like this one here, that one is coming out that one and that one is coming out that one. Now I couldn't find any settings in which to reverse it. Yeah, There might be in there, I don't know, I will look into it and if I do find a setting or I will contact the company and say 
is there a way of changing the speakers from left to right to right to left? Swapping them over. Because that is the only issue that I could find that I didn't like is if you've got a stereo, they were swapping it over. You can combine the stereo to mono. I did find a setting already in there, but I couldn't find a setting, like I said, to swap them over. Apart from that, she's brilliant. Well worth the money in my opinion. Better than my Samsung tablet and definitely gets my thumbs up. So if you're looking for one, a link in the video description, go and check that out. And thank you very much for watching.